What's going on, the gorgeous people of the gorgeous, gorgeous galaxy? It's Gorgina Gorge, and we back with another video. Gang, 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 gang. If you're not a part of the Gorge Gang, change that before you get beat up. You don't want to get beat up. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. You don't know what to comment. For real, tell me I'm gorgeous, cause, duh. Hey guys, so today we will be doing a baby haul, which is just like showing all the stuff that I have for my baby so far. I am 36 weeks and like three days-ish. I don't really know. I'm close to 37. Baby will be coming any day now, but not any day soon, but not now. I don't know when he coming, but he coming like in the next couple of weeks. And I just wanted to showcase all the different things I got. Maybe show other moms things you can get for your baby. And, you know, I mean, yeah, that's kind of it. <laughs> so I'm just going to get started with all this stuff. Um, thankfully, I've had a good amount of people who supported and got things for my child. So those are too much major things. I have. There's a few things I still need to get. And, you know, just a few. So I'm very thankful for that because honestly with my other children really wasn't given that. So I'm just glad that this time around seems to be a little more different, a little better. And everything wasn't coming out of mommy's pocket. So this time around I definitely didn't feel too stressed and overwhelmed with everything. I did and at first, but slowly and surely things were just all fall into place as they tend to do so without further ado we're gonna get into this little haul. things first so i feel like move them out of my way so. right here is his um bather it is by summer's eve the deluxe baby bathtub um it's just a little standard i'm pretty sure if you had a baby you've seen babies been on babies you've seen this thing before um, I do not have no scissors. I was looking for my scissors and every time I'm looking for some Gina can never find it. I hate it, but I'm gonna try to um, Open it up without breaking the nail. Okay, so yeah, this is basically what it looks like and um, the other part you wrap around here and stretch out Yeah, yeah I'm just such a little baby. I'm not too fancy because they don't need nothing too fancy. One thing, this is my fourth child, if you didn't know. And the more kids you have, you really learn what you need, what you don't need, what kind of this you need, what kind you don't need. Like, I'm not saying I have four children. I am saying, listen to people that do have four, five, six, seven, three, two, multiple children. Because we do know a little bit more. We, we, we've been there a lot of times. Bath time is going to be one of the most important things for a newborn baby because they need a lot of baths, you know. You got to keep them clean and fresh and you want that little newborn smell to last as long as possible. So, of course, you know what? I was about to say I got some body wash, but I don't. This is lotion, which is important too for after you use the body wash, so... Remind me, I need some body wash. I like the Aveeno brand because it smells good and it seems good for baby's skin. I remember my son, my first son, he had eczema and Aveeno was what was suggested to me. Ever since then, I just really like the brand. It's really sensitive and good for baby skin. So if I don't use Aveeno, I also use Baby Dove and Baby Dove is just that girl. You don't know? Also on the topic of baths, I do have some bath washes bath washes <laughs> i have some washcloths these are by mukin um they're from they're all from amazon they're the mousseline 
washcloths. I like these washcloths because they are very soft. Very soft. You can't feel them, but I can. They're very nice texture that I'm sure a baby would enjoy. I got the like grayscale theme because. I don't know, I really like the colors gray and green as you'll probably see a lot in today's video for my son. I don't want to do the traditional blue too much because my first son I got a lot of blue stuff and blue is like the go-to boy color so, you know. As much as I do love baby blue, I try to be a little different and make my son feel special. And I like gray a lot too, like gray underrated color. I love me some gray. So. that broke but um yeah <laughs> and last but not least for bath bathing items got him these super cute towels and like i said they are gray and green this is a little elephant oh we gonna put his little hair here so this is one of the towels and then this one i'm assuming is like a a, a bird I guess this is a bird. It's this nice, like, minty teal color. So cute. Oh, and if you don't know, um, please, anything that's going to touch the baby's skin directly, wash it. Find some time before your baby get here to wash all this stuff. I have to plan a day to do the same thing because this stuff be everywhere and baby skin is so sensitive and first more you don't know what they're allergic to how they might react to different things so you know all this dust and stuff is coming off just reminding me that make sure you wash anything that's going to touch your baby skin that's towels washcloths socks bibs onesies t-shirts all that stuff needs to be washed and i think there's another towel here not one of the hooded ones. It's like a wrap around. I think I'm gonna do a wrap around. A wrap around. Wrap around. <laughs> and then it comes with some more washcloths. You can never have. The washcloths are by Carter. Simple Joy. I guess that's one of the little um, side brands or whatever. So. It was getting a little too hot to have hair. Like, I'd rather be bald headed. <laughs> Point to the wheel. Suffice, too. So, um, next I have this nursing pillow by Mom Cozy. This was also on my baby registry on Amazon, which I'll link down below if, you know, anyone want to give me anything last minute. I'm not opposed to that. Like, the more the merrier. I appreciate all support. So, I don't like how this thing is packaged like, at all. But it's always best to open it now and then later. So, yeah, this is a nursing pillow because I do plan to breastfeed. Um, in my mind, <laughs> this is my last child. So, I just want to do everything with him. The way they got this thing taped up, it's like they do not want you to open it. Like, I hate when stuff is overly secure. Like, especially if you order something, how am I finna steal it? Why has it got all this security and tape? Ugh, people use this stuff. Okay, so if I wanna open this up, I'm definitely gonna need scissors, which, like I said, I couldn't find. But um, I can just, you know, show it to you guys. This is the pillow. By Mom Cozy. We'll be linked down below. It's just a simple nursing pillow, like a boppy. If you know what a boppy is, it's very similar to that. Has this little headrest part right here, which I found very interesting. And yeah, like I said, I'll mostly be using this just to sit him down or when I'm breastfeeding so I can have something to pop him up because, you know, babies, they're not heavy, but they heavy. Like, trying to hold the baby the whole time. So yeah, that's that. I hate how it is so secure, but I'll make sure to open it before I have that's kind of big. Okay, we have this play gym or activity gym, whatever you want to call it. 
It is by Baby Disney, Finding Nemo, Mr. Ray Ocean, Lights and Music Gym Activity Gym. Now, I just wanted this because it looks so cute. Once again, put it on my baby registry. And thankfully, it was bought. Um, of course, your baby's not going to need an activity gym until maybe about a, a, a month. Give them a month before you try to, like, throw them on the floor and start to work on their, like, tummy time or... I don't know. Look, I don't know all the terminology, but if you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about, like... This is, this is not imperative to get real quick. Like, this is not an emergency item. It's nice to have, of course, but you probably won't be using it until your baby's about a month. But I will show it. And it's a bunch of pieces. So. I'll just have the picture here. It's Finding Nemo theme. It was super cute to me. And, you know... I'm very infatuated with girly things. So when it comes to having a boy, shopping is a little like, trying to find a fine line between this is cute and, oh, that's probably too cute. But this was like the right amount of cute and it still has like the boyish type of vibe to it. And the good thing is when they a baby baby, you can do cute scene and it's still cute because it's a baby, you know? As long as it ain't pink and glittery. Okay, so there's one more big box right here and this is a, Sit me up seat. It's called the Sit Me Up Floor Seat with Toy Tray. Um, this is by Fisher Price. It is Penguin. I'm not gonna open this right now because he definitely is not using this until he's probably three months, four months, whenever he starts sitting up. It's a little floor seat. I'll have the picture here. Once again, I just thought this was really cute and something he'll need along the line. Nothing I was gonna buy. Thankfully, it was gifted to me because it's not imperative. It, he does not need to be sitting up right now because unless this is a super baby, he ain't finna be sitting up no time soon. But, you know, this is good to have for when he needs it. Okay, so right here we have a couple of health and maintenance things. We have a nasal aspirator. I love this color. Like, this mint green is the color. And I hope his skin is like a nice brown. And the green just looks so good with him. Because it's in the key color. So, you know, you just use it to suck out boogers and all that good stuff. Help your baby breathe. Because babies be congested, y'all. It's like every five seconds they got a booger. So, this definitely something you need for your baby. This one is by Waddle, I guess that's how you pronounce the brand once again. I'll link it down below so you can check it out for yourself. And yeah, this is one of them you need type items. I found this, this is actually probably the only thing I bought for my son. <laughs> I found this in Burlington and it just spoke to me because it was Mickey Mouse. And my daughters like Minnie Mouse, so I guess my son could be into Mickey Mouse, right? And yeah, I just thought it was so cute. Baby Disney always has cute things. I love Disney characters. I grew up on Disney. My kids will grow up on Disney. And even though this is red and don't really fit with none, it's still cute. Comes with a brush, another little nasal thing, a comb, nail clipper. Um, I guess this is a medicine droplet type thing. And yeah, that's all. It's so cute. I had to get it. And like, I never bought them for my son. So this was the first thing I did buy. And this is from mommy. Oh. And then here I have a thermometer. It's the same kind of minty green color as the aspirator. And you know, this is just a... Uh, Make sure your baby ain't got no fever because babies be going through things. Like, you need this as well. This is another important item to get for your baby. You need a thermometer because if they overly fussy and warm and showing signs of any kind of sickness, check that temperature. Be able to check that temperature so you don't have to go all the way out your way to a hospital just to get the temperature checked. And then for them to be like, oh, it's still past. Just let them lay down, blah, blah, blah. 
So as I mentioned earlier, I will be breastfeeding. This is my breast pump. It is by Lanning's Laniso. Y'all, I do not be knowing how to pronounce things because I just pronounce it how it was spelled, but I guess it's Laniso. It is the Smart Pump 2.0. Um, it comes with. say like all the necessities but you know it's just standard two cup breast pump and I guess it has an app too to connect to and yeah so it's Bluetooth so I guess you could connect it to your phone for some type of some it says built in Bluetooth to easily track pumping sessions, record baby's feedings and diaper activities. Memory function and remember your last pump setting. Oh, pretty cool. This is um new. I never had a pump so smart before. <laughs> I've only actually used a breast pump with my first daughter. So yeah, this would be interesting to try. It seems like it's a really useful machine and one of the better type of breast pumps. So oh here's the stuff that comes with it right here. So it got the little part where you connect the stuff to. It comes with the two pumps, comes with a bottle, and it comes with uh, a bag to put everything in, which is useful. I'm actually gonna get this set up and packed before I have to go to the hospital, which I'll also do another video about, you know, when I bring it to the hospital. I've done one before for my last pregnancy, and I'm gonna have to watch that and like kind of compare and contrast. Cause like I said, the more kids you have, the more you realize what you do and don't need. So this is most definitely needed so I can be pumping while I'm in the hospital. So this is my breast pump, land so smart pump. Now, even though I will be pumping and breastfeeding, you're still going to need bottles. And um, with my last baby, I really fell in love with these Tommy Tippy bottles. I don't know, I like the way they're shaped. And these ones, the colors were so cute. These were registry gifts. And yeah, Tommy Tippy right now is my favorite. I used to be into the Avant bottles. I would still be acceptable to those, but I don't know. I really like these Tommy Tippy. They're like the perfect size. They fit great in my hand. And... Like I said, these colors, these colors are so cute. And they're called closer to skin, which means they probably mimic a booty. So <laughs> babies probably love them too. Like I said, my last daughter used them, no problems. And hopefully baby boy will enjoy these bottles as well. Now they say to buy different bottles because you don't know what your baby's gonna like. But in my personal experience, whatever I gave my baby is what they like. Because who going to argue with Gorgina? If I said this is your bottle, this is your bottle. Don't be trying to make me buy more stuff. But knock on wood because every baby's different. And I don't know how he's going to act. But I hope he get with the program because he got Tommy to be A couple more little things. We got swaddlers. I personally do not know how to swaddle a baby, but my boyfriend is a spectacular swaddler. He's the type of person that will go watch a video and learn how to do something. Me, I like to learn by practice and doing on my own. Cause for me, watching things don't really all the time connect with me. But yeah. I can talk about my motor skills. A lot of things that involve your hands, I'm not too good at, even though I can draw, but that's probably as far as my motor skills go. Like, <laughs> I've tried and tried and tried, and I will probably try again for my son, but I'm not a good swallower. But he is, and swallowing your baby is good. It helps him get great sleep. And honestly, both of my daughters slept throughout the night, starting at three months. And I probably could thank swallowing for that, because my son was not swallowed. And sleeping was always one of the most difficult things I dealt with with him. But you know, I was a single mom back then. And I was like, yeah, I'm just swallowing. Okay. So this is <laughs> tough times. <laughs> Swaddles always good. I need to get some more of these. These are the only ones I have. 
is this these three right here so definitely remind me so right here are some receiving blankets if you don't know what receiving blankets are they just as they say receive so like when you take the baby you put them over your clothes this is also something to make sure you wash before you use because it needs to be clean that's the whole point of them is to keep the baby from being directly on your outside clothes and your skin because once again do not know how baby skin is going to react to every other thing in the world so here we are receiving blankets um they're cute i didn't pick them out but i like them next we have some bibs the funny thing is so i have my friend she recently had a baby this month yeah the beginning of this month the 8th march 8th and i bought this for her baby and when i was buying it this is really cute i wish i had this for my baby and surprisingly enough i got this gifted to me by a co-worker who had no idea that i wanted them it just was by chance so i just think these are so cute like look at the little pooh bear it's so cute and i don't really be using bibs for real for real but definitely will because they're so cute and i have them so i got these oh so once again Baby Disney, Baby Disney got the cute. Um, I got a, a couple of boxes and packs of diapers. I have mostly newborns and one box of ones. Depending on the size of your baby, it will depend on what size diapers you need. My first two daughters were both premature, so they were in preemies for a little bit so they got to newborn. Um, my son, he seems to be pretty healthy. As far as the doctor's been tracking, I will have another sonogram tomorrow and get an update on his size. So, I'm expecting him to start off a newborn. I don't think he'll need preemies. And he'll probably be newborn for about the first month of his life. And then he will switch to a one. That's typically how babies grow. They grow very fast, especially breastfed babies. They blow up. So, don't buy too many newborn diapers. So, my brand of choice is Pampers. And this is going to sound really silly. But I mostly just like Pampers because of the color. Like this teal color appeals to me. Pampers have a very nice smell to them. And I've never had any bad experience with rashes or anything with using Pampers. So this is a brand that I've been using since my first child. And I don't think we will ever split past with each other because they are reliable. They always has been. And I hope they always will be. Thank you, Pampers for supplying me for five years now. Wow. Shout out to Pampers. And of course, you know, we got wipes to go along with diapers. Baby wipes is something I've also been buying for five years because um, you need baby wipes for the while your kid is just a toddler too, like I still use baby wipes for my oldest children and my oldest child is five. So I don't know when I'm going to stop buying wipes, but I haven't yet. So one thing I always keep in my household has been baby wipes. So that's just something I'm going to buy anyway, because always need wipes. Always. You use so many baby wipes. It's crazy. That's a mom thing. All moms understand. You use a lot. Okay, so I'm going to get into the clothes. And then there's two big items that I'll get into. Because I'm not moving them. Because they're heavy. And I'm nine months pregnant. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going through all the different clothes. So right here is a plain white t-shirt. This is three to six months. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of different opinions on baby clothes. Of course... They need a lot because, you know, babies go through a lot of clothes at the beginning of life, spitting up, pooping, bath, etc. But I also feel like you don't want to go too overboard because they outgrow very quickly, as I said. So my son is going to be born in April. So I feel like sleepers, 
she won't need too many but you never know just a few baby body temperatures are different we have a couple of sleepers they're zero to three months or this one is i don't know they're all the same size like i said wash your clothes before you put them on your baby this one is zero to three months this is really cute breakfast is most definitely my favorite meal of the day so that's cute my little breakfast baby. I should probably be taking these tags off too because when I want to wash them, I can just throw them in. This one is super cute. Little doggies. I love this type of blue. It's like a powder blue. Really this one is a newborn. But still looks so big. Like, different clothes run in different ways. Like, Three months for different brands are definitely different. So you have to see clothes to actually kind of evaluate the sizes. So this is three to six months. It says little rubber because that is definitely what he is. The new addition to the family. Baby rubber. My new youngest, just like that. <laughs> Sorry, Peanut. Got these little onesies, which is also something I see and thought was cute that I'm so glad was bought for me without me asking. You know? <laughs> One thing about me, I'm not an axer. Like, I don't know if this is a good or a bad trait about me, but I just strongly believe people who want to will. So I've never been the type to ask anyone for anything. Or even if you ask me what I want, I get real awkward and I don't know what to say because I do not like asking for things. Yeah, that is a trauma response because I'm used to people not helping me out, not being able to follow through for me. So I got to a point where I don't ask, I take care of everything I can on my own. And maybe other people have realized that I became that type of person, so they're more willing to help me. I don't know. Dealing with human beings is so difficult, so frustrating. I don't be knowing what people be thinking, but like I said, I got a lot of stuff from others this time around for my kid. And it really did make me happy. I don't want to get emotional, but it just feels good to know that people do care. Cause I'm the type of person that feels like nobody cares. Um, my circle is very, very small. And right now my life is purposely small cause I had to let go of a lot of people in my life that I realized do not benefit me like at all. So if you're in my life right now and you have been there and we've been speaking, and you've helped with my child. I open up to you about my pregnancy. Just want you to know you do mean something to me. And like I said, I'm just so appreciative. And like I said, you're so cute. We got this. It's aquatic themed little sharks and crabs. Super cute. All right, I love babies. I love looking at babies. Babies are just cute. I'll put it like that. Dealing with babies is stressful. Very stressful. Today is just so cute. Like I can't, I can't wait to see my son. I have no idea what he would look like. Cause if you see my kids, they all look similar, but they all look different. So I don't know if he gonna look like one of the kids I already have. He gonna look like me. He gonna look like his daddy. He gonna look like himself. I have no idea. I'm just so excited for him. I don't want to rush him, but I'm ready. I'm really ready and excited. So this is another sleeper dinosaurs we got some socks these are some cute little mickey mouse onesies like i said definitely big on mickey and mini This was the first piece of clothing that we bought for him. My boyfriend got this when we were in the store one day. This little, um, Mickey Mouse sleeper, you know, just an impulse buy. Like, 
having a child is very exciting. So when you see something, you just finally make that decision. But I want to buy this for my baby. And it was very much that. So this is a little special outfit too. And it um, has these matching um, mittens. Which, man, my kids do not be keeping their mittens on. Like, and my last daughter was scratching her face up real bad. Like, she was always scratching her face. But she would not keep the mittens on. So it was like, all right, girl, walk on in my skull face. Try to warn you. Have this little set. I always like the little sweater with the spaces in it. <laughs> Baby stuff is just so cute, so. Have this, come with a little sweater, best snuggler. Mm, yeah, this is six to nine months, which is a great size for this, because like that, while he's small, it's gonna be hot outside. As he gets bigger, it's gonna cool down. So yeah, he definitely needs this later on in life. So I love when people buy properly to size me. Cause imagine buying me a baby coat in the size of three months. What am I gonna do with that? And that's how you know people just be buying anything. But like I said, I've been so thankful not to be dealing with that right now. I have people that actually care and were thoughtful with their gifts. And my son is gonna be properly prepared for the first year of his life. And I just hope, you know, as time goes on, the support can stay the same because babies never stop needing anything. And like they say, it takes a village. And I would like to build that village in my life because I definitely do a lot of stuff on my own when it comes to my kids. Proud of it, but eventually it would be nice to not feel like everything is on you. Right. Here are some basic little white t-shirts. Can't go wrong with these. These are good for after baths. I'm just changing him when he has an accident so he's not wearing his super cute clothes. Just to be laying around in the house looking cute. Some more little onesies from Amazon. On my registry. Everything that was bought off my registry, once again, will be linked down below. My registry itself will be linked down below. So free to buy anything for my baby. Got some little booties, Nike. This one right here is a gift set. It comes with a hat, a onesie, and the booties. These onesies might look familiar. Well, this one I use for my photo shoot. Um, I guess inherently my son will be a Patriots fan. I ain't into football, so everybody ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't really care. But, you know, my boyfriend is a Patriots fan. He's been a Patriots fan since he was little. So, of course, his first son, that's what he wants to pass on. So, I seen these little onesies while I was shopping for our photo shoot. And I just knew I had to buy these because, of course, like, I really love how happy my boyfriend is about having his son because... He wanted it for a while. He wanted his first child to be a girl. We got that, we want our daughter. So the second time around, he was really hoping to get the boy and we were supposed to be done. Of course, we got another girl. <laughs> and now he's finally experiencing that son. He's super excited. Of course, a lot more excited than me because I've already had a son. Been there, done that. Still a little bit of excitement for me, but I know what it feels like to have your first. Like when I had my first daughter, Completely different from when I have my second daughter. Just like when something is new, it's new. And this is the last one. So those are the clothes and stuff we have so far. Um, like I said, it wasn't a lot 
Because I promise you, you do not need too much to start off with a baby. You don't. Um, what did I say? I get a little bit more. Some squalors, some more soap. Uh, comment down below. Or when I edit in, I guess I'll remember and put it in my notes. Because y'all be acting like y'all can't comment. When the comments are open to public. Okay, so this is one of the items that was too big for me to like move around for a fro. It is called a cribette. I've never heard of this before, but it's basically like, it was giving me a play, like a pack and play type crib. Um, yeah. Alone on my back in my crib is how they suggest children to sleep. Um, we ain't gonna get too much into that right now, but you know. <laughs> This is always good when you got stuff to do, especially even with multiple children. You need to lay your baby down. Always put them in a pack and play. Do not leave them somewhere they can roll over and fall. This is very secure and safe for a baby. So it is called a crib bed. I will be interested in using it. It was a gift. Thank you so much. If the person that bought the gift sees this video, thank you. And yeah. Now over here we have the Graco three-in-one sis travel system. It is in Spanish, so I'm trying to translate it while I'm reading. <laughs> With a snug and ride, and it's 35 light -like deluxe. So I don't know why it's on the Spanish side, but it is. <laughs> so this is the stroller and car seat travel set. They come together, and it has these different modes right here. You can have it like that. You can have it like that and you can have it like that. It is in the color, it's called Ontario Blue. So this is what it looks like, the color. A very like powdery grayish blue. Of course, once again, pretty appeals to me. I like that color, it's different. I've never really seen a stroller this color. This was on my registry. My mom purchased this, she's been buying car seats for all my babies all four of my kids the one gift she will buy is the car seat and she bought a lot of stuff on my registry too but you know she always gets the car seat because this is the most important thing you need for your baby this freaking car seat you cannot go home without a car seat so yeah so with that that concludes our baby haul Hope you've seen some interesting things, learned a couple of things, and just enjoyed the video overall. Next, I will be doing what I will be bringing with me to the hospital. And of course, there is a vlog for when I give birth. So just stay tuned for all the little baby videos as we prepare for my baby boy. Look at him. Look at him. He coming. He coming, 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 coming. So, I'm very excited. Um, wash your baby clothes. I'm about to I'm put all this stuff in a little bag myself. Because, you know, it's crunch time. He will be here any day. And I'm just trying to get everything proper and ready for him. So excited. And above all else, stay gorgeous.